This video is arranged into four sections. An introduction by Jude from the city of Coquitlam, followed by an overview of the design architecture and a live demo. We will then wrap up with final comments from Jude. Hello, this presentation is about the Business Intelligent Dashboard Design Project. This project was carried out by the City of Coquitlam, funded by the Federation of Canadian Municipalities. The purpose of this project is to transform the data City collects to information that aids informed decision making and deliver to the right person in the right format at the right time. This project's deliverables are a dashboard design report, which is the major component, and a sample built dashboard, the minor component. So when you review this presentation, put your concentration on understanding the dashboard design, not on the layout arrangements or the output results, which can be changed when the actual dashboards are implemented. The demonstration is built on a BI reporting platform called Tableau. We have chosen it due to its easiness and slickness to create dashboards, but the implementation of the dashboard can be made in any similar platform of your choosing. Now, let us get into the dashboard. Thank you for setting the context, Jude. I'm pleased to provide a brief overview of the asset management dashboards. The following dashboard designs are a collaboration between the City of Coquitlam, GHD, and AIM Consulting. Our agenda is to take a tour through the dashboard design principles and the design architecture. We will then focus on some of the design elements and conclude with a live interactive demo. Dashboards are very effective at pulling together all the different pieces. Tangible capital assets, processes and procedures, software applications and systems, data, databases and data repositories, internal and external stakeholders. The process commenced with a review of existing data sources and reports. The team then developed the concept designs and these evolved into a detailed design based on input from city staff. In accordance with ISO 55001, performance evaluation occurs at three levels. Firstly, performance of the physical assets themselves. Secondly, performance of the city's asset management system. And finally, how the city practices asset management as a discipline. One of the key design principles is the concept of alignment. That is the line of sight between the city's aspirations, which are contemplated in key strategic documents, such as the official community plan and the day to day transactions that occur within each of the city's departments. The consulting team reviewed a number of strategic documents and considered how these should be reflected on the dashboards. One of the city's key requirements was for the dashboard designs to reflect the varying needs of internal stakeholders. These needs or requirements were captured in three layers, strategic, tactical, and operational. The design architecture contemplates all the overarching structural considerations that were explored in the dashboard designs. The first architectural feature considers the size of the user's computer screen, beginning with a desktop workstation within an office environment. Through responsive design principles, the dashboards can be rendered on devices of different sizes and configurations. Within the screen boundaries of different computer devices, the dashboard architecture arranges the information into four zones or panels. Within each of these zones, there is a series of windows which are laid out sequentially in order to convey stories and to provide an interactive workflow. Each of the four zones is assigned a specific function, which together work as a cohesive set. Zone A at the top of the dashboard is about orienting the user by providing a dashboard title, 
and other contextual reference information. Zone B contains an asset hierarchy that enables the user to navigate through the city's asset portfolio. Zone C provides information to reveal the degree of alignment between the business intelligence in Zone D and the organization's goals. Zone D contains a series of information windows that are scalable in size and tell stories through a sequence of business intelligence charts or other analytics. 19 different design elements were developed and incorporated into the four zones of the dashboard architecture. Zone A contains seven design elements. Welcome to the authorized dashboard title, search bar, help icon, menu bar. Zone B contains the asset hierarchy, which serves as the foundation for the business intelligence rendered on the dashboard. A nested hierarchy of concepts can be arranged into the business intelligence windows in Zone D. In the current example, we see each asset type allocated to its own information window. Recognizing the different stakeholder requirements, the dashboard configurations can be customized. The information windows can be resized, depending on the granularity of the details in certain reports. The information windows can be scaled further to maximize the use of the available screen real estate. Action icons allow the users various functions such as printing, editing, modifying of the intelligence windows. Stories are conveyed through a structured arrangement of windows in the dashboard. The sequence unfolds to provide insight to the dashboard user. We will explore five examples of dashboard stories to demonstrate the efficacy of the dashboard design. Two of our stories are strategic in nature, two are tactical, and one is operational. Our first dashboard story is about pump station work management. It is a tactical level story. The dashboard contains four panels of business intelligence. The story begins by revealing the global ratios of planned to unplanned work orders. The story then provides a detailed yearly breakdown of the distribution of planned to unplanned work orders. I'm now pleased to hand over the presentation to Rowan for the live demonstration in Tableau. Recorded. The City of Curtin dashboards were designed as two operational dashboards, two tactical and one strategic. The operational dashboards were related to the fire hydrants and pump stations with the two tactical and strategic dashboards both being connected to the pump stations. These dashboards were developed with the purpose of showing the capabilities of business intelligence dashboards and also the ability to connect geospatial and non-geospatial data. In the fire hydrants operational dashboard, we have managed to display a geospatial distribution of the hydrants, a hydrant count by flow class, hydrant count by hydrant zone, which is the operational maintenance grouping of the hydrants within the city of Coquitlam, as well as the hydrant count by type. The dashboards provide the ability to blend and combine different data sets, which then allows also a set of filtering between the data sets. Within this dashboard, we have the ability to click on particular hydrant zone areas, which then limits the geospatial data to just that hydrant zone, as well as the hydrant count by flow class, as well as hydrant count by type. Dashboards have the unique ability to then continually filter and group down into different areas. So we have the option of displaying a very limited data set as a filtering within the larger overall set. 
You also have the option of unfiltering and moving your way back up and then moving your way sideways across different filter groups of the dashboards. With this, we can then also move our way between different asset types. As mentioned, we also have an operational dashboard for the pump stations. So we can then see the pump stations names and IDs, account of work orders by type, account of work orders by pump station, and then a list of the associated work orders themselves. With this, we can then filter down through the chlorinator work order types which shows just the limited pump stations for that one. And then we can also go into the different pump stations specifically themselves, which shows that we have only the pump station slash reservoir work order types and water pump station types. And then the list of work orders is then restricted and limited according to the same filtering. We provide a select list of work orders and work order numbers. Moving on to the tactical dashboard, <coughs> we can see a ratio of planned and unplanned work orders as a high level roll up pie chart, a distribution over time, a number of days to complete associated work orders by pump station, as well as the average cost of the work order by type, which is also broken into scheduled and unscheduled work orders linking back to the planned versus unplanned. Again, we can then filter down between the different stations and even different years to show a very limited data set associated with it. Another option that business intelligence dashboards have the option to do is to limit and restrict and move different sizes of charts depending on what you wish to display. On the top here we have the option of only viewing chart 3 or chart 4 at a single time which then restricts the size of the chart that is not desired and expands the desired chart to full screen. With a full rollout of a business intelligence dashboard, we can then have the option of moving the chart to a full screen view and also moving the hierarchy and other text information out of the way so that the charts can be viewed a little bit more specifically. With the tactical dashboards, we also developed based on the data sets that were provided a water consumption and electrical consumption set of charts which are shown adjacent to a data quality summary showing a comparison between the charts. So the water flow volume by year option as well as the electrical consumption by year options have been shown. The data quality summary showing light green where there is a direct link between the two information sets based on the pump stations as well as a light, a light gray to show where we are missing water, meaning we have electrical information but no water, and then dark green, dark gray, sorry, to show where we have water available but no electrical. With this option, we can then filter down into just the, say, pipeline data set, which then limits the electrical consumption by year information accordingly. Moving on up to the strategic dashboard, we are able to see a direct comparison between the electrical consumption at a higher level compared to the separate full charts, as well as a benchmark consumption comparison with peer cities of the Coquitlam versus the general average, showing that the Coquitlam consumption per capita as a litres per day unit is a lot lower. Additionally, we're also able to display the industrial and commercial water consumption as a comparison to residential over time. So the, the city is better able to understand where their largest consumption analysis is undertaken. Thank you very much. Thank you, Rowan. That was a great demo. I would now like to hand it over to Jude for some closing remarks. You have now seen the dashboard design concept and the demonstration of the built sample. Hope you liked those. Our next steps will be to write a business case project charter, and if agreed by all, move it to the official project status. When resource allocations are agreed upon, the dashboard will be built and implemented in the engineering department first. Based on demand, this may be expanded to other departments and divisions. If you have any questions, you may contact FCM 
or the city of Coquitlam, St. Jerry Department.